uh welcome to the next video of analysis of trust with join load in etabs okay uh, for this problem for, for this video i have one problem just i open it oh i think it was some here uh here is our problem and here is our trust I can give some uh, simple uh, some information about trust. Um, we will we will have a point load here, and that point load and every joint is pin offer no resistance to movement like it is frictionless, and uh, it will uh, the truss will only carry the axial force, and load are only applied at the joint, not the frame. Okay, this uh, this our trust and just. Uh, just to figure our sign convention for for axial force, uh, shear force, and bending movement. It is compressive, then it is called negative. It is uh, extensive, like going is pulling eastward. It is a positive axial force, tensile. And this is the um, positive. For this one is for positive shear force and it's negatives. And if it's going to the clockwise, this is positive bending moment, and another one is negative bending moment. Okay, just it's just simple uh, assumption for our sign convention is positive or negative. Okay, okay, let's see uh, this example. Okay, uh, I will go to the e tabs and open a new file new model and i will use the user shift default setting because uh build it, this setting will not affect our and our analysis is for only design so now let's go to the to our page i will choose the blank one for the first okay this is our window okay um then i will just my grid one okay i just want to do in grid and grid system just mm. okay uh let's see here look uh it is like uh anything we can assume it is the uh, it is a uh, roller support okay now it's hinge support okay we'll assume it as a hinge support and and this is I'll take this one for the horizontal axis, okay? This is A, one, two, B, and for the F, I'll create a M, middle one, M, C, D. That means we need a five, total five. Mm, three, four, five, five vertical line and two horizontal line. And we do not know what is the distance of this uh, top F, F. Uh, we can find it by Pythagorean theorem, like it is called, it will be in the middle of M, as in it is in the M, um, at the center of B and C, that means 3 plus 1.5, 4.5 5 means uh, 10, 30, 4.5, okay, I'll calculate, I, it will let 4.5, 4.5 into, uh, 10 30 okay is equals to okay we'll round up and we'll, we'll get 2.6 so let's try it um you can display grid data as coordinate but we are using a, a spacing if you use the coordinate like you need to fix it okay we have five now a B, M, C, and D. One thing you notice that uh, it is on in feet, but we are using our metric unit in SI unit, okay? Just, I'll change it, okay? Uh, metric SI default unit. Don't forget to 
we're going to change it. We need to change our units. Unit play a very important roles. Okay. Just I will add it. C D. Just add that here one. I need to add one here. I'll put M C and D. This is on specific for side. Specific three, then one point five. Okay. One point five. One point five. It is M D C D three. Okay, for here we need to two grid okay. One two we'll keep two point six. Okay. And set is to num module switch to the data. Even two point I will write two point six. It will be easy. Two point six. Okay. Now we need the elevation. We are doing in elevation somewhere. Okay, one elevation. Okay. We have here our cross, so we can draw here. I don't need to do right now. Just go here, draw a line A, B, C. Just draw a straight line, okay? I just draw a straight line. No, just draw like uh, it's a different person. A, B, it's been, then B, C is been, then C, D is been. So I will draw. Simply, I will shoot this one, this one, A to B to we have C to trust this one, one to this one. This our trust. Then we will create a one trust this point, another trust. This our trust. Oh, then we can draw this one also now. From here to here. Here to here to here. And we can divide this one. Edit. Edit frame. Divide frame into two okay you got this one into two frame after that you can draw it here to with this one here and next one on edit edit frame and divide frame just we need to click this frame apply okay then here to here. Uh, let's see. This is what we need. Okay. This is the what we need. Oh, the figure we get it. Now we need to assign the support. We'll assign both hinge support. Okay, this one and this one. Sign joint restraint and and okay we have assigned it now next one is we are going to and Okay. 
then we have at the point G we have three kilonewton okay here we have three kilonewton assigned now we need to go join force force and what the force is it's particularly down that means it's three kilometer play and okay let's see Three kilometer we have applied. Then we are going to apply two kilometer here. Joint assign join load then force in the y direction it is two kilometer. Play. Okay. Uh, next one is we have trig newton at the point here here assign join loop force and it's like trig newton okay uh, we have defined our all force now uh, we need to release the movement we do not have movement in of trust so we'll go to assign we'll go to frame release partially fixed partial fixity and we'll release uh, movement we'll go to apply and then okay we can see the three dot here now everything is set now we are going to run the uh, check our model we'll check the model for everything and okay We know one message is generated, then we'll run it first. Analysis, save it. It's done. Now see our reaction force. Okay. 19.53 my god 19.53 okay let's see how much it was here it is showing 4 kilometer 4 and 4 
why it's showing too much let's see let's unlock the model okay just one uh, select it and assign frame properties modifier and we'll consider self zero and wait zero apply and okay what is just and run it you got now done now let the force see the force display apply and okay what happened I don't see anything. Just delete it and create it again. Just delete it and create it. I think it, it got lost. Okay. I have both so I'll run it. Now let's see the words. Oh my god, we don't have any words. Oh, we have assigned load in different. It should be in Z direction. I th I think I assigned the joint force in the wrong direction. Okay, that's it. That's why it's it's going that way. Send it zero. Okay, I will assign it to apply. Yes, then I'll assign it if this three direction re apply it. Oh no, I wanted vertical download apply it. I want to apply it vertical download. Okay, now we got it. Okay. Um, I did a mistake here. Then I need to go to join here and I need to write apply, and then it is FZ means I need to apply it minus two kilometer. Yes, apply and okay. Here we apply it, run it now. I did a mistake because it was the <coughs> run direction yeah now we got our our deflection okay let's change the 
ports and is for yeah two and six is equal to the four and six yeah what we need we got it like here if we have four and six i think oh i need to i'll just change it it was roller support for there I'll change it. I'll delete the reaction and I'll do this support assign joint restraint rollers. I will apply to okay, apply. Okay, I'll just change it and apply rollers. Let's see what happened. I will uh, delete and done. It is more duplex. Let's see the uh, load. We have four and four as per our uh, drag. Now see we can see our shear force okay now exit for exit force we are going to see apply and okay oh my god I can you see anything like this Okay, let's see on chair mm. force on AB is tensile. Okay, AB is tensile. Let's see A and B. AB is ten. A and B tensile. It is one. It is given six point nine three. Okay. Let's see six point we get out six point nine three or no. We have out six point nine three here and let's see AG AG it AG it Seven by nine is eight. Look, it is eight. It is given eight, and it's red. It means it is in eight. That means it is compressive. It's yellow is in tensile six by nine three. Look, by this way we can get our axial force diagrams and reaction on the truss. Thanks for watching. And be careful when you assign the uh, join load. It should be like in the particular direction. Thank you. Thank you for watching.